my day. They didn't have any of this internet, social media kind of thing. The most we had was IRC. IRC, some cryptic crap Unix message board. You know, this is this was back in the day. So I didn't learn shit online. There was basically no online. HTML version 1.0, right guys? So this is your opportunity to learn, man. You guys have access to learn for free. Jesus, man, you have everything under your fingertips. <laughs> Most of you guys, you know, are learning using the internet positively. Then the segment of you guys are just trolling and just wasting time. And it's just like, my God, yeah, I wish I had this technology back when I was a kid. If I had this technology, man, good, good Lord. Good, I would have I would been fucking like, maybe fucking started trading much longer, um, much, like long ago, right? So you guys have all this opportunity, man. I, I had to learn through the school of hard knocks, trying to figure out what worked and what didn't. And that's why we came out with all these rules, man. Because all these rules were because I lost a lot of money. So you guys do not need to lose money. And it's funny because, like, Jesus, man, back in the day, to get stock market education, you got to go to Ivy League school. You have to go to Goldman Sachs. No one's going to teach you that shit. Man, people even know about the stock market back then. You know, the stock market, you know how I got the quotes back then? My dad would trade like IBM and shit in his retirement fund or whatever. We, he would look at the fucking newspaper. Hey, and you're talking about delayed quotes. Nowadays, 15 de the minutes delayed quote is an eternity. One minute is an eternity. You imagine having to wait for the newspaper to look at your quotes the next day. Just think about this, man. They used to be in the business section. A booklet like this, a few pages of all quotes. And I, I was a kid, I was like very interested, like curious what he was doing. I didn't know those were stocks. I was like, what the hell is stocks? But what does that even mean? And they were all trading in fractions, guys. So the quotes, imagine getting quotes from a newspaper. Imagine waiting for the newspaper guy to deliver your fucking quotes. And now you guys got this shit at the fingertips. And you're still fucking complaining. It's all perspective, guys. You guys are just fucking... Not, when I say you guys, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about these fucking lazy fucks that complain all the time. We've been getting a lot of comments like... Your fucking lives are just nothing but advertisement. I don't learn anything from it. Fuck you! This is free! <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? This is the entitlement generation. I just cannot... The fact that they say that, I love it. It means you... I don't want to teach you. Anybody that makes those kind of comments like... Oh, we are just... Advertising MIC. We're not teaching you anything on these lives. And I'm like, good! Join MIC, bro! I'm not fucking here to spoon feed your ass. You can be a loser for the rest of your life and that's okay. That is completely okay. You imagine someone's giving you a free, free fucking show on the streets, right? They're juggling, they're doing these performance acts, and then you walk up to them. Hey man, all you're doing is working for tips, man. I, I don't appreciate that. I, maybe you would get punched in the fucking face. Nowadays, these, you got the internet, you got these fucking virtual warriors thinking they're hot shit. Take that shit to me and fuck in my face, man. You think I'm a weak shit? I grew up in the hood. I got fucking hood friends. I mean, fuck, I didn't survive this long. I'll whoop your ass. If I can't whoop your ass, I'll find someone to whoop your ass. <laughs> That's how we work, man. Asians are small. We will fucking fuck you up with five people. I will get your kneecaps. Another guy will get your ankles, okay? But we will take you down, Mr. Giant. Okay? Power numbers, guys. Power numbers. I'm jo joking aside. Guys, we do this because we want you to learn. Of course, we cannot teach you everything in a fucking half an hour IG live segment. And you got people complaining that it's fucking... We don't teach you? Then don't fucking watch. Holy shit. It's fucking... It's just so weird. Imagine if you, you're sitting in your house, talking to your friends, hanging out at home, and then some guy just walks into your door and goes... You, you, you are, you're not educating. Shut up. You, you are just spamming people. I'm like, who the fuck are you? I would, I would fucking shoot them. That's what it is, man. This is my home. IG Live is my home. This is my account. You logged into to watch me. You went to my house and you are invited. It's, it's not a right. I can block you anytime. If I don't want to block you, I will find you and I would, I would hurt you. <laughs> you know, that's back in the day. We would know who the fuck you are in the neighborhood. You know, you want to be a smart ass kid. You wouldn't survive in my fucking, you wouldn't survive five minutes. Those kind of guys. But today, everyone's so soft. Everybody is looking for a handout. When is the, 
How many of you motherfuckers even have a job, man? These guys are complaining. They're, they're waiting for the next stimulus check. And they're complaining that we are giving free education. It's fucking unbelievable. I had to get that off my chest because I've been hearing so much bullshit from the entitlement snowflakes, man. You owe, you know who you are. I curse too much. I eat fucking bad food. I mean, I get all sorts of shit. It's unbelievable the crap I get. They don't watch my feed. Don't be masturbating to me, man. Those people that comment religiously and troll me. And I'm like, did I do that? You remember um, the, the, on that last video, the 11th minute and 31 second, you did this? I'm like, no, I don't remember that shit. So they religiously watch and they bash because you know what? But they hate their life. And I'm going to change that right now, guys. I will give you free education today. Okay? Today I'm going to give you fucking free education, guys. It's funny because a doctor takes 12 years in order to graduate and get his license and start making money. We are teaching you to become profitable in a matter of months. Making more money than most fucking doctors if you do it correctly. Okay? If you do not do it correctly, of course you're not going to make money. We have doctors in MIC learning, wishing that they, they could quit their practice to trade full time. That's a fucking fact. And you guys are too fucking lazy and too cheap to join MIC and complain that we're not giving free education. You want fucking free education, motherfucker? <laughs> There's free education everywhere. You can go, go into a library, look up trading, learn from the Encyclopedia Britannica circa 1998 article on how to trade IBM. Do it. Free. Go to the library. You want free? There's a lot of places. You can join free pump groups. They'll teach you how to trade. They will tell you to make hotkeys and just buy whatever they buy. Diamond hands. Diamond fucking hands. Diamond hands. Hold your two shares of GME. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's fucking funny. So let's say way into, into meme socks, guys. <sighs> so before I start, tomorrow... You want fucking free education? Here we go. Attend tomorrow's webinar. Tosh hosted it with myself every Wednesday at 2 p.m. market time. We do a free seminar, live trading. I live traded last week. Killed it last week. The week before, I actually lost a shit ton of money. So we show you the losses too, man. We're the only ones that show you live. So you remember two weeks ago, I lost on KOSS, cost. And I fucking learned a lot of valuable lessons. I didn't shy away from that. I showed you my loss. I lost like fucking 10 points on that stock. That's a lot of fucking money. So you want free education? Show the fuck up. But then when they show up, they go, they ask like, oh, uh, where do I enter about? Where do I exit? Why don't you show me that? I'm like, what are you talking, are you talking about, man? <laughs> so they're asking like, oh, how much money you make? I'm like, dude, I, I just showed you my chart. Who cares how much money I made? I made more money than you. <laughs> so basically, guys, we live in a entitled country an entitled universe, an entitled time frame where, Jesus, man, you can do nothing in life and get a stimulus check. Where the guys with a stimulus check are getting more money short term than a guy working hard. Okay, why, why do you have to work hard? Because you know what, man? You want to be mediocre. You want to be, that is what wake, makes me wake up in the morning. The fear of being average. The fear of being mediocre. The fear of having to wait for that stimulus check. The fear of just fucking being a loser, guys. No offense to you guys. It's okay, but I said in the last segment of IG Live, it's okay for you to not want to do this. But the fact that you're here listening to me means that you want to do this. So let's fucking get to it, okay? So the first lesson today, how do I make fucking money day trading? The first step is to educate yourself. Second step is to educate yourself. Third step is to educate yourself. Trading, when I started trading, I thought I was gambling. And that's why I lost a lot of money. I lost all my bankroll many times. I thought I was gambling. I thought it was all random shit. I've proven, Alex have proven, MIC guys have proven, Faye have proven, all these guys have proven that trading is not random. That we can beat the fucking odds. I've had a year where I only had 252 different trading days. Had seven down days. 200 and something wins. Seven red days. Take a look at the guys in MIC. I fucking probably lost only six times in four months this this year. You know? Today I'm down like a thousand bucks on my trading. Which sucks, but you know what, man? Shit happens. 
thousand dollars i'll make back in one trade but notice when i lose it's not a revenge trading i am okay with be being down a thousand bucks today trading i know that i can make it back when the opportunity is there i am in no rush trading is my career trading is not my hobby you have to distinguish the difference between a hobby and a career the guys are trading these meme stocks that diamond hands that is a hobby that is gambling they are not really trading for a business and that's completely okay and they're making a lot of money i saw this girl that i know who knows nothing about stocks post amc she bought amc at ten dollars she bought 50 shares five zero five hundred dollars is up 500 percent right now 600 percent actually 600 percent Oh my gosh, her 50 shares is now worth like three grand. You think that is, that is being smart? Hey man, it works for her. But you know what? Try that with another stock. These are once in a generational type of moves on the meme stocks. What is a meme stock? Google it. It's the Reddit army. Then you know, they all, it's basically social media trading where everybody is on the same stock going one direction. It is okay. Go go in it. So how do you make money on that? You make money by being early. The moment my mom hears about this, and I remember Alex's dad telling him to short AMC, that's when we knew it was kind of topped out. That was the day that AMC had the first red day and all that. When your parents are giving me advice on how to fucking trade stocks, that's when we know that the top is near. But it's okay. How do you make money trading mean stocks? If you are a day trader, it means that, you know, you, you kind of educate yourself on this kind of stuff. You make money by avoiding AMC. Because that stock doesn't make sense. It, it's, it's just like, it doesn't fucking make sense. And so your first instinct as a rational human being is to short that stock. And that's how you blow up. There are stocks that do not make fucking sense. Leave it the fuck alone. It's not your responsibility to fucking solve the fucking crisis of fucking trading. Your job of trading is to make money. Pick a stock that makes sense to you. So, how do you make money? Once again, I mean stocks. If that type of strategy makes sense to you, you will make money. Her, what's 50 shares to her at $10? She's riding freebie. It makes sense to her. That's her strategy. Her strategy is to hold this. Because it's only, she got it so early. And it doesn't matter. This is a lottery pick. So, it was always a lottery pick to her. This is not her business this is not her income this is her gambling so therefore it fits her parameters her niche her niche is gambling her niche is trying to get rich off of little stocks from the social media pumps and it works guys it works because she treats it like lottery she she understand she's not living on it this is not her paycheck she put in her entire savings plan she bought 50 fucking shit that's less than a bottle at the club, okay? Whereas we do this for a living. Every day I wake up to trade to fucking feed myself, to feed my family, you know? And so therefore, I'm not gonna touch that stock because it's a gambling stock and I am not in the business of gambling. If I was, sure, I might buy 50 shares, but I know I won't because I would have sold it at fucking $12. I bought it at $10, I would have sold it at 12 bucks. I'd be happy. And then I turn around at $60 and I'd be fucking killing myself. So I don't want to get involved, guys. So how do you make money in meme stocks? Once again, trading plan, okay? You make a trading plan. And I guarantee you, she will keep holding that for $100. It's either $100 or bust. You know, these guys will hold these things forever. I don't know why this guy didn't move out of my way. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> That's another rant. Motherfucker just fucking spray water on me, didn't say anything, didn't put his hose down, didn't give a fuck. You know, because you know what, man? He's just fucking, he doesn't give a fuck about his job. So I want to show you that because it's kind of fucked up, right? I'm walking the sidewalk. And this guy's spraying water. I'm pretty sure if I was wearing a suit, 
and I was some fucking businessman looking kind of guy, he would fucking say, oh, oh, oh I turn off the water for you, mister, mister, I turn off the water. But you know the way I look? I look like a fucking hum- home- homeless guy. He doesn't give a fuck. And I had to walk outside of his fucking stream onto the grass. Okay? He's probably holding his meme socks. He is the candidate to be holding AMC. He's probably in fucking Dogecoin at one penny. And he will never sell. And what's going to happen is he's putting his entire paycheck into Dogecoin at 50 cents, 60 cents. Because he really thinks it's going to go to $5. Okay, and you know what, man? There's so that's how you lose money when you confuse a lottery play for a real stock. Treat it like it is. It's a fucking gamble. AMC. When was the last time you went to an AMC theater? Fuck, I can't remember the last time I went to a movie. Period. AMC. What the fuck? But now you buy the shit at sixty dollars a share. <laughs> Sixty dollars a share, <laughs> fucking crazy. So, once again, getting back to the topic, how do you make money off of me stocks? If you are long, you make money off of me stocks, realizing it is a lottery play, and with all lottery plays, it will tank eventually. So, the smart way to do it is to learn how to trade stocks. Learn the charts, technicals. Okay. So start. So I, what I would do if I was her was sell half, take half off. I'm up fucking five hundred percent. Now I'm riding the rest for fucking free. That's a smart plan, you know. If you want to do it, but hers is all in or nothing, you know. I'm not an all in or nothing kind of guy. So if you're a day trader, how do you make money off meme? Then you make it by being smart. We have a great strategy, which you know what, man. We don't know where the top is. I'm not gonna Gary uh, cherry pick the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the stock to break down. And we call that the first red day, FRD. Okay, we originated this. We called it FRD. Uh, I won't go into too much. It's in the videos. It's all in the YouTube videos. Subscribe to the YouTube. Okay, that's how we make money. We make money by being smart. We make money by, by waiting for the setups that are proven time and time again with a huge high 90% effective probability in our favor success rate okay first red day alex killed it i mean freaking like half a million dollars shorting amc on that first red day that's his bread and butter so you know he's not gonna mess around with it here he's gonna freaking wait for the stock to top out the moment it hits red on the first day you know the certain setups he does boom he's gonna nail it so once again he realizes his game plan So, how do you make money trading, guys? Game plan, game plan, game plan. You do not wing it. Winging it doesn't fucking work. Okay? Winging it does not work. You plan, you plan. I make money pretty much 90% of the time trading my normal setups. Where I lost, that one big loss of the year was that KOS. It wasn't that much, but, you know, it it was fucking my biggest loss of the year. And And it's because I deviated. I shorted these lottery stocks I shorted the sympathy to AMC and it fucking went way up you know so I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna pause take some questions raise your hand if you want to be included so how you make money off of mean stocks guys (laughs) you make money by by avoiding it smart money smart money avoids it okay I, I haven't touched AMC in so long guys and it made my life so much better I think there needs to be an AMC survivors fucking support group, like anonymous, like, like you know AMC anonymous for guys who've been beat up on AMC. You know, want to talk about it? Come and join. Uh, come and join MIC. We have a support group every night at 5 p.m. <laughs> for those like, uh, to show me where these meme stocks touched you, and how badly did you hurt? <laughs> Come join the support group, but, but you know what? Jokes aside, guys, that's what it, uh, MIC is for. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the fuck out of MC right now. I mean, um, M- MIC. So whoever says oh, we're 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 we we're sell too much, I don't care. I'm gonna sell it right now. Join the best community in the world, M I M I C. You know where we helped you make money, where we help you and socialize. All that. So join him. Join him. And for the guys that say we spam too much, fuck you. I just spam. Have questions? 
Uh, who the hell is this lightning guy? Guardian angels, please report to God for a foul. Jesus, man. We have all... Um, I just hit it from him. I'm going to block that guy. I don't know who the hell it is. So, you guys want me to spam more MIC? Um, hit up Tosh. Hit up Tosh. We're the best. We're the best. We bank, we bank, we bank, we bank. I'm the best. I'm the best. There we go. There's my spam. Uh, want to see my Lambo? <laughs> um, okay, raise your hand. You won't be on fluid. I, I, what I miss, guys, is bringing on people, random people from around the world in IG. So I, that's my favorite part of IG Live, actually, guys. That and being able to rant to the fucking world. All to the 240 people in the world that listen to me. <laughs> I feel like a fucking celebrity. 236 active people watching me now. Yeah. <laughs> AMC. I've touched a lot of people inside AMC on dates. <laughs> we won't go there, guys. We won't go there. Thank goodness there's no cameras in there. I think that I think there is, but where has he touched you inside AMC? <laughs> I love you guys, seriously. Uh, raise your hand. I'm gonna bring one person on, and we'll we'll call it a day. Cause I gotta get back to gambling. <laughs> guys, we have all sorts of toys, cars, and stuff. Alex drives his Lambo every day. But we don't post that, so you know, I've it's you know how easy it is for us to post and get lifestyle members, but that's not the way we are. It, it it's kind of like it sucks, guys. I want to be able to get more people's attention, but it just that's just not our personality. We got guys fucking posting stupid shit online, like materialistic crap, and then and I'm just like, dude, I'm not. If you, you don't see fucking Jeff Bezos posting that shit. I'm not saying I'm Jeff Bezos, but... Alright, raise your hand, guys. Any hot girls here? <laughs> Anyone hot identify as a girl? <laughs> times are tough. Times are tough. Alright, who wants to raise your hand and be included in to the MI? Just raise your hand, guys. One person. If you hate me, that's been better. I want I want to bring on a hater so they get to tell me why they hate me. Is my ex here? <laughs> bring Sam on. Hey man, if I'm gonna break a rule today, Alex, <laughs> I sure the hot chick lost. Now I'm gonna go along the hot chick. I'm looking for the hot chick to fucking like. <laughs> To buy now. Who wants to be bought? All right. I already brought Davern on last time. I love you, Davern. You're too muscular for me. You're too good looking for me. Can someone less attractive than me come on, please? No more of these guys with six packs. If you do not have a six pack, Raise your hand. I would I would promote you in the IG live. No good looking guys. I want to be the best looking guy. All right, Samuel. You better not be good looking, Sam. Hey. Hey, what's up? Fuck, you are good looking. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? How's it going? Tell everybody who you are, where you're from, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, so my name's Samuel Testerman. Uh, I'm from Central Florida. Uh, I joined MIC just over a month ago. Wow, um, what's your name, what's your name in old. chat? What's that? What's your name in chat? What's your name in chat? Uh, Samuel, under, Samuel Testerman. Oh, okay, cool, man. Another, another, yeah. are you in college right now? Uh, I'm 19, so I dropped out of high school, and then I'm full-time day trading on the weekdays, and I'm working for my own business on the weekends. 
Hey, man, you know what, my, man? You do what, what fit, benefits you. So tell us your experience with MIT, how you hear about us, and, and what is your – what do you do up, up to trading? Yeah, so um, I joined MIC just over a month ago. Um, Xander and I are actually tabs. Uh, about- oh, you're the guy. You're the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Xander. Yeah, yeah. So uh, about four months ago, five months ago, Dan. Uh-oh, 19. Oh, hang on. Hold on, I think, I think it's you. Or is that you or me? All right, let's start over. You uh, I'm not there. sure. I... All okay. right, so let's start over. <laughs> yeah, so. You are 19 yeah, years so old I from Florida. I see like a month ago. Yep. Yep. And I joined MIC uh, like a month ago. Um, before then, I was trading OTCs. I've only been day trading for uh, about four or five months now. So joining since joining MIC, I mean, it was within the first month now, and I'm finding consistency already. Back with like OTCs and at the other chat rooms, like I was like not even 50% profitable. I would lose like four and then maybe make one and not profit on it. But I'm like five for six on MIC so far. So, um, so, so the, re- the you were chasing stocks over there, right? Uh, yeah, it was it was definitely the it was like complete opposite of MIC, where it's like you want to buy those breakout points going long, buy at the resistance, and it's like I just kept buying the stocks, and then it would plummet on me, and it would crash back right down. So now you know with MIC, I switched. Now I'm shorting at resistance. And I'm catching those tops based off the lines, and I'm just writing it down to the support levels. Oh my God, you learned all that in one month. <laughs> so tell yeah. us exactly how how you learned. Like so, so, so when you joined, did you watch the accelerator? How did you How did you start? Tell people how you started. Yeah, no. So I didn't. I didn't watch the accelerator just because I was saving my capital. I only have like a four thousand dollar account, so I, I wasn't going crazy with it. But what I did is I grinded for about. 16 hours a day for four months before joining MIC, trying to learn day trading. And I didn't stop once I joined MIC. Um, I, you know, I gave up my friends on the weekends. Uh, all my evenings were studying, preparing for the next day. So all I did was I came on and I went through all the videos. I went through space study guide. I mean, top to bottom, you learn how to draw your lines. I mean, that was all new to me. Like, I didn't know fuck about lines, you know what I'm saying? So I just came on, I kept grinding. I would go through the main chat every day. I mean, you know, me and Xander, a lot of nights we get on and we'll go through the main trading chat every single night, screenshotting, you know, words of wisdom, screenshotting people's charts. So it's just every single day, if you put in your full effort, I'm talking minimum of 12 hours a day, just working. Wow, wow, I love love it, bro. So where do you work in uh, Florida? So um, my family's got a company that we own. Uh, we paint houses, so interior and exterior houses. So you so, do hard work, man. That's good, man. You're you're hardworking good, man. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's intense here in Florida. You got like 80, 90 <laughs> heat outside. Temperature oh feels like God. 100. Grinding it just to bring in that money, so it takes the stress from trading. Oh my God, that's so awesome, man. So you 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 basically. So how'd you find Zender as a tap? Tell us the, how that happened. So uh, our old chat room, um, I mean, I got, I've got good things for him. So Tim Sykes is our old chat room. And, you know, Tim's a good guy. The process just didn't quite work for us. But we saw each other just on comments. You know, we'd re- we would retweet people. We would comment on the same posts. And we just kind of realized that we were both the same age. We both seemed to be grinding just as hard. And so Xander was the one who reached out to me. And he was like, hey, you know, let's, let's kind of create a group. Let, you know, you're the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. And so from that day on, I mean, we did calls like every day. We spend hours, you know, on the phone. We'll watch videos together. So, I mean, if I had to recommend one thing to somebody out here is get a tab because you need somebody. I mean, I've had nights where I'm laying in bed, right? And I'm just, I'm worn out on the day. And then Xander will text me. He'll be like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm laying in bed. He's like, get your ass up. Like, come on, it's time to go. And so, you know, we hold each other accountable. And when you're slacking, your tab pulls you up. And when your tab's slacking, you pull them up. And it's like, it's this healthy give and take, this competition. If you don't have a tag, a tag and a tab, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hey, hey we'll, we'll do this, man. We'll, talk to Tosh. Uh, we'll give you the accelerator. You don't have to pay for that. I, I, I'm, I'm really for fucking real. happy. 
Yeah, man. You you basically have you have access to every fucking show we have now. Uh, Damn, I would bro. I would I would waive you monthly, but you know what, man? I think the monthly keeps you motivated to yeah. fucking do this. So I realized that you know what, man? People that are given free shit in life, they don't fucking they don't fucking do much shit, cause they, you know. But you are you are fucking making shit happen. Yeah. And so I was gonna give you free free membership, but I was like, dude, that might fuck you up. <laughs> but, <laughs> the, but the but I'll give you the the accelerator, dude. Anything you need, you know. That two hundred dollars, and you you gotta work to fucking make it back. And the, the fact that you have a job now, I, I fucking love it, bro. And then, and then, dude, man, any, anytime you want to do have a meetup in Florida, let us know. We will sponsor all the pizzas that you fucking want, bro. You, 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 you know, you are now you and Xander are now like the the um, the young ambassadors for MIC over there. <laughs> I appreciate it. that. That means a lot. I mean, I've been grinding every single day, and you know, for anybody out there. One thing I want to say is I've had nights where I'm laying in bed and I'm just, I'm struggling, you know, I'm working hard. It's not making sense. And that's where, why, you know, 90% of people fails because things get hard, things get tough and you give up. So you need to have your goals. You need to know why you're doing this. And on those nights, on those days when it's not working and when it's, you know, you're having a hard time, don't give up. Because if you follow the MIC process, if you're in, in, in um, MIC, I mean, you've got so much support. You've got everybody around you. You have no reason to give up. I mean, just keep grinding and show up every single day. And we've got so many testimonies. Dude, I mean, I'm becoming so awesome. one of those. Uh, it pays off, man. It really pays off. Just don't give up. Dude, I, I love this, man. I, I can't believe that we have two two youngsters who are going to be superstars back-to-back -back weeks that join. Hey, man, I, I, I appreciate you learning this. I, I, you, that was the best advice. And, dude, I, that's so fucking awesome. Now everybody knows who you are. Um, hit up. Hit up Tosh and hit Oliver. I'm gonna give you some MIC swag, you brother. You get, you, you get uh, me, you be head to toe in MIC. Again, I love it, man. I love awesome. it. <laughs> Keep working hard, man. Keep working hard. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for coming on, Sam. I'll bring you on next time for a recap. How All right. Good. Okay? All right. Take All care. Right. Dude, that's so freaking awesome. That's so awesome, man. I. I don't know how else it fucking ended better than that guy. So there you hear it. We have a 17-year-old and Sam was 19. You hear what he says? He's grinding. No fucking excuses. I just went on a rant about entitlement. And here you are, a 19-year-old kid, the next generation of the fucking world. And you, you just redeemed my faith in humanity again. So thank you, Sam. Thank you, Xander. Thank you, the twins. Aiden, uh, the twins at MIC is freaking awesome too, man. These, High schoolers, man, it's their, dude, they're, I cannot believe it, man. I, I, I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. And we'll see you online, guys. Thank you, guys.